Okay, let's get to work here. We're, um, we're uh, doing video number 79 and we're doing um, assignment number 32. I'm going to give you one just like it after I do these problems. And then we'll move on and talk a little bit more about the video of this morning. So I'm going to do one through five here. And only number five introduces a, a new idea. Uh, so let's get right to work. Um, I presume you have the problems in front of you so I can focus more on the other side of the board. Moving over here, okay. So uh, number one says that you're going to multiply uh, 3x cubed times x squared. So that means you get x to the fifth. Again, that's the, um, that's the uh, product rule that we've talked about so many times. And over here, you get uh, minus uh, 6x cubed. I uh, mentioned many times that uh, we're more interested in going backwards, which we'll be calling factoring. But more on that later. And uh, number two, again, I'll just show it to you for a second here. There's number two, okay. I'm just going to FOIL it and combine my terms. If you notice, they're linear binomials, so that means I'm going to get a quadratic trinomial uh, most of the time. So d times 3d is 3d squared. That's the f in foil. d times 1 is d. That's the outer. The inner is negative 3 times 4. Any high school kid can get this kind of stuff. And then I uh, put it together. That is the middle terms, which is very typical. And I end up with 3d squared minus 11d minus 4. I'll mention in passing that you'll be required to go the other way as well. As I repeat again, this is called factoring. Okay, so uh, we can do number 3 down here with the same uh, method. 2c times 5c is 10c squared. You should be following me or at least communicating with me if this is something that you don't see. There are the two middle terms. Linear binomials, that's going to happen. You should expect that when you do math. We put the two middle terms together and you get another uh, quadratic trinomial. And this is uh, written out properly here for you to do. And again, you'd be expected to go the other way around as we get better in math. So those are the first three. Um, uh, they're written out here. Here I can box them. And that helps anybody who's really struggling here. And now I'll erase over here. And we'll be concerned about doing uh, 4 and 5. 4 is really nothing. It's just asking if you can put uh, ideas together. That is multiplication and combine like terms. But I don't think anybody's going to have a big problem with that. And then the last one sort of introduces the idea of subtraction that we are going to talk about a bit. And uh, uh, I'll get to that in a second. So here we are, and uh, we move this over. We're doing number four and five. You can see they're written out here, and uh, you should have them as your homework. So I move it over a little to give myself some space, and now we go right to work. So in the first one, we have uh, 2x squared. There's your f. There's your uh, outer, your O, your minus 6x. And you can check me on all of these anytime you want. Uh, and then a negative times a negative is a positive. You already know that. And finally, the last one, minus 2x times x is minus 2x squared. And then minus 2x times plus 3 is minus 6x. So there you go. And uh, now we have to put everything together. Um, we start with the highest powers and they um, cancel. We go to x to the 1. We got negative 6x, negative 6x, negative 1x. So there's negative 13x. Okay, I'm canceling them now so you can see what I'm doing. And there's an x. Sorry about that. So ugly. And there we go. So it's a linear binomial. Okay? Should be able to do that. I'll box it. And now we go to the last one. And here, due to the laws of PEMDAS, that multiplication comes before subtraction. Your subtraction, you're subtracting what you multiply here. The product of these two binomials, you'll subtract that. 
Again, PEMDAS tells you that. We'll have more to say about subtraction in the very, very near future. So uh, here we go. I'm just going to put it over here. we got plenty of time here as we're moving along. So you can see I'm doing number five. And uh, I'll repeat this exercise because I don't get feedback, as you know. So it's really tough. That's a B. Sorry, guys. Uh, that's a 6, okay? So that's B6 times B squared. Negative, of course. And now I'm minusing what I end up getting here. And uh, that's B squared uh, plus 2B plus 1b. I wrote the 1 that time, no reason for it. And I put everything together and I get b, uh, 6b minus uh, b squared minus b squared. As we said, everybody comes the opposite. You can put these two guys together in your head. And there you go, what the math is asking you to do. The highest degree. Okay. Uh, and I put an x there, silly me. And uh, there's a 3b, as you can easily see, and there's minus 2. So that's what you should have come up with, okay? Uh, again, a trinomial, um, a quadratic trinomial, and the coefficient here is negative 1. Uh, we'll be talking about factoring those things as well. Okay, so let me get this, upload this and get it out to you. And uh, the next thing I have to do is... Um, Assignment 33, which will basically mirror this so you can get one more shot at it and then communicate with me if um, things aren't going too good for you. Okay.